Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition version 1.13.1 has been released. Here is snapshot 18w31a. My name is Sliced Lime, I'm here to take you on a guided tour of this snapshot. Let's start with gameplay. Fish now have a 5% chance of dropping bone meal when you kill them, that is fish mobs, not fishing. And bone meal when used in water and you're inside of a warm ocean biome has a chance to grow coral. Conduits are now properly water loggable blocks, that means sponges now interact with them properly. Spawning of squids has changed, squids now only spawn in river and ocean biomes. If you were next to a spawner and you died, then while you were staying on the death screen, the spawner would keep spawning mobs. And the statistics for mining banners and beds were broken, they never increased. In some certain worlds under certain circumstances, it was impossible to properly return from the end to the overworld after defeating the ender dragon. And iron golems could spawn in air blocks fixed in this version. Also a sound fix, the carving pumpkin sound didn't play properly, it does now. Some fixes for maps, an ancient bug has been fixed, so old that it has a two digit number in the bug tracker, this is MC-73. That is the bug that if you had a map with a player marker on it and remove that map from an item frame, then the player marker would stay behind. Also markers on maps in item frames didn't behave persistent as they do now and maps in item frames also had shading problems. Also, if you had an old world converted to Minecraft 1.13, then maps wouldn't save map markers properly. Redstone fixes. Observer cooldowns were broken and observers now behave much more like they did in Minecraft 1.12 again. So if you've been unhappy with the observer behavior lately, then check out the behavior in this snapshot. Sticky pistons got stuck when they received a zero game tick pulse, that was fixed in this version. And pistons were not powerable for the first two game ticks after being moved under certain conditions. Also, it took five or more game ticks for a piston to be repulsable, and they reacted one game tick too late. Also, a bug with all redstone components, it was possible to get them stuck in a powered state when they got indirectly unpowered. Some menu fixes if you pressed escape, that didn't return you out to the main menu from the single player menu anymore and renaming worlds didn't update their names until you re-entered the world list. Command fixes in this version 2, big news in here, a slash chunk command has been added that will let you toggle the force loading of a chunk on and off, it's slash chunk, in and dimension, and then force or unforce x and z values. The slash scoreboard player's operation modulo operation was changed to Java's built-in modulo function to the math.floor mod function. Probably doesn't mean a lot to some of you, but essentially it means that if the sign of the two numbers are different, then the result will behave more reasonable. Like minus 1 modulo 7 wraps to 6 instead of returning minus 1. Line numbers and function parse error logs now start with 1 instead of 0. And if you used slash set blocks to place a player head, then the texture wouldn't show properly. Also, if you used the TNT unstable state, then you could punch it to activate it even in creative mode, that's fixed in this version. Also a fix for an exploit, and stability fixes, and even more performance optimizations. If you want to try this version out, go into your Minecraft launcher, go into launch options and enable snapshots. Read the warning message and click OK, then head back to the news tab, we're now in the drop-down box next to the play button, you'll have a latest snapshot profile. Select that, start the game, and you will be playing the latest snapshot or pre-release version, which is currently this one, 18w31a. Do keep in mind that snapshots are less well-tested than normal versions and can cause unknown bugs. So make sure you have a backup of your world, or test it on a separate test world. That was all from me for this time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.